the 16th. You already read them 14? No, you didn't read them 14, yeah. You want 13? Yeah. Go ahead, all right. get closer. Closer. Yeah, man, these scriptures cut through the bone and marrow, man. Ain't nobody saying we get no sleep tonight. Kids and all understood what we were saying. Man. She gonna pray, man. So uh, he gonna pray, man. I hope I hope I'm not an Edomite. I hope I'm an Israelite. He know he know he know it was the truth. Said I hope I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> this is Psalm 37, verse nine. For evildoers shall be cut off, but right. those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. That's right. Evildoers going to be cut off. That's talking about these other nations that's over here in America. That's talking about the two-thirds that's over here in America. They're going to be cut off. But one-third, we're going to inherit this glorious kingdom that's coming up. That's going to be pur he, the most high going to purge the earth of all this wickedness. We're going to inherit this glorious kingdom. Ain't gonna be no faggots, ain't gonna be no cones, no spicks. Our people gonna come back to their heritage. They're gonna be it. They're gonna know the Israelites. We're gonna uh, be in Yahweh Shah's king. These people bugged out, man. This first Corinthians 6 and 9. As unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold, we live, as chastened and not killed. As sorrowful, yet also rejoicing. As poor, yet making many rich. That's That's the second That's the second grade. Go ahead, yeah. Go ahead. Back at uh, Psalms 37, verse 10. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yeah. Thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. That's right. The wicked shall not be. First of all, the so-called so white man going into slavery, then he's going to be burned up after a thousand years. We're going to burn them up. They shall not be. In two-thirds of our nation, they wickedness shall not be again. They got to die over here. And when they come back, they're going to be righteous. Ain't going to be no wickedness in this kingdom that's coming. This is gonna be the perfect kingdom. Our woman gonna be in place. The fool gonna be right. All these other heathens, they gonna be in their place, which is under us, under us Israelites. Go ahead. This first, first Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the, un, the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators nor idolaters. It's all right, done. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Not fornicators, that mean you homosexuals, you faggots, you lesbians, fornicators, you adulterers, all y'all niggas, y'all got pride in fucking another nigga bitch. The Most High got something for your ass for that then. That is an abomination. That's how diseases get spread. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. Nor effeminate. You feminine ass niggas. You feminine ass um, niggas, Latinos, and um, Native Americans. Y'all niggas done lost y'all balls. Y'all niggas have no cojones. There's no manlyhood about y'all. That's all niggas want to be. Pretty boys and Rico Suave. Niggas make millions in the NBA, but they want to come out in, 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 in skinny jeans with a pink shirt, with a bow tie. Pants, um, the pants stop halfway down their leg. Like uh, Russell Westbrook. All these niggas faggots, man. John Day's niggas wearing makeup and shit, man. You got niggas on TV wearing makeup, man. They make they wearing makeup, Nick, and they they let their woman rule over. Even the simplest of things, they woman they woman got control. They woman got control every aspect of these niggas' lives. You, 
ahead. And the only time they come up, when they come up, right, walk by here, they'll stop. The only reason they'll stop is if they lady walk up first. Man. That's all. The, 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 the lady be um willing to listen for these niggas. Because the niggas, they ain't going to come up because they thinking, oh, man, uh, she ain't about that. Um, she going to be mad if I stop. That's right. Your bitch ain't going to be able to protect you. Martial law happens. That's right. Then you're going to see who's really got, who got the most work. If we want your bitch, your bitch coming with us. That's right. Going to kill you and take your bitch. That's just how it's gonna go. Go ahead. More abusers of themselves with mankind. That's right. People abuse themselves with mankind. You drug, you drug abusers. It's there. It's there's many a ways that our people abuse themselves with the food they eat, eating pork every day of their life. Down here in Miami, they eat shrimp crabs. That abominable shit. Every day, like like it's, it's the number one um, delicacy. Your body can't um digest that food co correctly. That that is not food. Oh, Our people shit. abuse themselves daily, so them people will not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkard, drunkards, nor revealers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. That's right. No revilers, no extortioners, no drunkards, no thieves. Only the people that's coming back to their heritage. And when you do that, first of all, you gotta have that name Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's right. Then, then, he, then if he's dealing with you, you naturally you're gonna start following those laws to the best of your abilities. Otherwise, you are reserved for the flames of fire that are coming to America. That's right. right. Say it again. ICBM missile fire is coming to America real soon. Right. So y'all thinking that it's all good? It really ain't. It's about to be all bad. You people don't believe in what you can't see. But pretty soon you all gonna see it. The people laughed at Noah because he told them it was gonna rain. It never rained before. But when it rained, it poured. That's what's going to happen to America. It's going to rain nukes. And even before that, it's going to rain troops up and down your streets. Doing martial law. Raping you women and killing you um, niggas. Killing you men. Got a piece up from when you said you don't believe. It's Romans 3 and 3. For what if, for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Yeah, let God be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in the sins, and, the, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. That's right. So we know that this is the truth. Fuck what everybody else got to say. Fuck all the scoffers. Fuck all the mockers. Fuck those who don't believe. We know this is the truth. And this is the only way that we going to overcome. If you don't believe, oh, all right, that's fine. Uh, not all right. So fucking what? So what? <laughs> so what? Like, like uh, Paul said. Uh, so what? This, this is gonna stand. Yahweh has a firm foundation. He's not a man. The Most High is not a man to lie. This is this is what's going. This is what the truth is. These prophecies is gonna happen. Whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, whether you walk past, whether you hear up or bell, it's gonna happen. <clears throat> this is Ezekiel chapter 11 Verse 16 Therefore say Back up, back up man Good, good Therefore say Let's say of the Lord God although, although I have cast them far off among the heathen And although I have scattered them among the countries Therefore I say, thus saith the Lord power, although I have cast them more off among the heathen, 
And although I have scattered them among the countries, yet would I be to them a little sanctuary. A, a little sanctuary. That's the spirit. Because the most I, I mean, it's lost. This brother just bought out a great scripture that ties in with that. If you don't believe, so what? Because the most the most high is uh, his sons, but a little sanctuary to us. It's, it's a little sanctuary. This ain't for everybody. This ain't even for all for um, every one of these people on this um sign. Only one third of these people gonna be saved. 144,000 men gonna be prophets. It's a little sanctuary. You got millions and millions of Israelites in Miami, but it's only seven of us out here um prophesying. It's a little sanctuary. So if you don't believe, so what? The scripture says it ain't gonna be everybody. This ain't for everybody. Like uh, Trinidad James said, this ain't for no fuck nigga. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Real nigga? Fuck, fuck with me. <laughs> hey, but like the analogy you always use, man, like at the end of the day, you can take one stadium out of one state. Which Let's take uh, uh, Dolphin Stadium, for example. People that's going to be saved out of here are going to be able to fill that whole stadium up well, on the field. That's, well, that, that's the 144,000 right, right. The man, The man who's going to get it. Right. The man who's going to be saved. Fill up the whole stadium and fill up the field with the people. That, that's all the men of these nations that's going to be saved. Plus the one third. This is Luke 19 and 27. But those, but those my enemies, which should, which should, it's lucky. Let's start back going at the top. This is Luke 19 and 27. But those my enemies, which would not, that I that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. That's right. So if you ain't gonna listen to these words, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans who would, who would not have the most high reign over you, you're gonna slay you. That's right. When the deliverance happens, when he delivers us out of this place, all those other nations that's gonna try to um buck up, the most high gonna slay you. That's right, that's right. With that, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, right. the double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, those the elders that rule well, and salutations to all you brothers out there spreading this word of truth and sincerity across the globe. Yep, to America. Okay.